Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I have a very relaxing perfume and kind of a tea time video for you. I've had quite a few people ask if I could share which fragrances are currently on my perfume tray, and I'm very happy to share them with you because I love fragrances and I love just going through them and smelling them and talking about them. So if you're interested in this, then stay tuned. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already so that you don't miss any future videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday night, welcome to my bedroom. Uh, this is the new setup that I have on my dresser currently. Um, if you guys watch my updated bedroom tour, you know that I recently painted and I'm very, very happy with the color that's on my walls. It's a really beautiful um, light shade of gray and I think it looks a lot nicer in here uh, compared to like the taupey color that I had before. Um, I did just work a 12 hour shift today. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. It is 9.35 p.m. I am tired, um, but I really wanted to make a video for you guys. So we are working with the lamp in the corner, the um, ceiling light, as well as a lovely candle. And um, I did just recently post a photo on Instagram about um, the fragrances that I have currently sitting out on my tray. All of the other fragrances that were too summer, too winter, um, or that I just haven't been gravitating toward, I put those away actually in the closet. And I'm not gonna show you that today because um, I don't wanna spoil it. I will be doing an upcoming totally new perfume collection video. For those of you who are interested, that'll probably be coming up in like a couple of months. Also, I am currently sipping on a cup of chamomile tea. I think there might be lavender or something in it. It's like a calming tea. And I often like to drink tea in um, these really antique looking cups because it makes me feel like royalty and I just think they're very pretty. And also, I know that somebody will ask, first things first, um, the nail polish color that I have on right now is called Buns Up by Essie. And uh, it's just a really nice, um, kind of a brownish fall skin color. I wanted something that was really appropriate for fall, something a little bit warmer on the warmer side. And I don't normally wear um, brown nail polish, but I quite like this one. And currently what I have burning is Bath & Body Works Lavender Vanilla Candle. So my room is smelling very cozy and very calm and very relaxing right now. And um, without further ado, let's get into the perfumes that are on my tray currently. So for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or who don't know, this is a um, new perfume tray. I had put my little bedazzled cake tray away in the closet because I wanted to try something a little bit more minimalistic and something a little bit more chic and kind of simple. And I really like the way that this one um, kind of corrals in the fragrances. I like that it's like contained in a little rectangular box. I don't know if that makes any sense. I also really like the gold, um, but I especially like the gold against like the gray wall. I think it looks really pretty. Um, it just goes a little bit better with all of my decor. So currently right now I have 14, tra um, 14 trays. I have 14 perfumes, I believe, on my tray. Um, and like I said, I just kind of put away in the closet the ones that were either too summery, um, so it's getting a little bit cooler and I'm just not gravitating toward them. I also put away the ones that were still a little bit too wintry. And I also kept out ones that are either newer or I'm trying to put some attention to wearing. Um, so let's just start at the front left corner. We have Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. Of course, I love Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all time and this is a brand new 50 ml bottle. Um, I told you guys that I replaced this one because it's one of my favorites. I love it so much. It's such a sexy, spicy, um, sweet, feminine fragrance, and I definitely want to um, get some use out of this one. We also have, and don't worry, by the way, guys, I know which ones I can pick up by the caps and which ones I can't, so please don't have a heart attack. Um, so I also have Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. This one I've already put a fairly good size dent in, and this is a pretty new bottle. I've only only had it for I don't know a week maybe I've been wearing this like crazy it's just such a pretty easy go-to um, fragrance it's floral it's sweet it's got pear it has benzo in it has cashmere in it's got some white florals in it um, it's just really beautiful and just a really easy grab-and-go wear when you don't know what to wear the dry down on this by the way is perfection the dry down is worth waiting for it's very soft and feminine and pretty 
and a little bit sexy as well. So yeah, just a really easy grab and go and I definitely want to give that one some attention. Next we have Mon Guerlain from Guerlain. Absolutely love this fragrance. Lavender, vanilla, beautiful. I'm actually going to take the cap off of some of these and um, give them a little sniff as we go because I love doing that. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful scent. It's such a beautiful feminine scent, one of my absolute favorites. I really don't give it enough attention for how good it is and how much I love it. It's one of my absolute favorite fragrances. I love everything about it. I love the cap. I love everything about this fragrance. The next one is uh, Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum. Chanel Chance Eau de Parfum, what can I say about this one? You guys know that I love this. This is one of my all time favorite, favorite, favorite fragrances. Um, it's just really citrusy and woody and it's got like, oops, why are you not focusing? It's got like a little bit of vanilla in it, I believe. I'm just gonna give it a sniff here. Super um, heavy cap as well, super weighted cap. It is so classy, you guys. Such a classy, classy, beautiful fragrance. Perfect for a signature scent. Um, really good for this time of year. Um, behind that one, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. This is a monster bottle. Um, this one, if you guys haven't smelled it before, is very sensual. It's a little bit spicy smelling, although there's really no spices in it. There's a little hint of coconut. This one, I have told a lot of people, this one would be good for year round. You could definitely wear Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense, in the summertime, in the evening, because of that coconut. Super sexy nighttime fragrance for the summertime, but you could also definitely wear this in the fall and the winter as well. And obviously, this is a huge bottle. Bottle, so I do want to give it some love and um, I had a couple people ask me if I could do an update on this one like do I still love it do I still wear it how's the longevity um, to be honest you guys I haven't had enough of an opportunity to even wear this one which is why it's out on my tray would be a fairly safe blind buy for people who like gourmandy um, sexy kind of scents um, coming over to the left, we have Valentina Poudre in this really beautiful pink bottle. Look at that gorgeous pastel pink bottle with the little rose on the top. I absolutely love it. You guys, I heard something really sad. I heard this fragrance was going to be discontinued. Can someone please tell me if that is true? I actually heard that the whole thing was going to be discontinued. The blush and the Valentina pink. And I don't know about like the original Valentina. This is a really gorgeous, um, pretty feminine powdery scent. It's got a very distinct powderiness to it. It's very different from um, Narcisso Poudre. Very, very different. I always have people asking me how similar it is. This one is like more along the lines of Kenzo Amore. If you've ever smelled Kenzo Amore, which is more of a pretty almond, it's less of a musky powder and more of like a floral powder, if that makes any sense. It is beautiful, and also you guys, the um, projection and the longevity on this thing is incredible, incredible. If you spray this on your pajamas or a cashmere sweater, you will be smelling like this until you wash it. One of my favorite bottles um, to keep on display for sure. Coming over to the left of that one, we have an oldie but a goodie. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is Alien from Mugler. Uh, this is the new formulation, I believe, and Unfortunately, I don't think this is as strong as the old formulation. This is one of my all-time favorite scents. If you guys watch my channel, you know one of these days I'm going to have to do like a giveaway where I ask you to tell me my all-time favorite fragrance and if you get it right, then you enter. Uh, this would be this would be the answer, guys. <laughs> so if you know me, you know that this is my favorite. Amber jasmine woody notes oh it's so bold and so beautiful and so sexy and at the same time i've worn this in the summertime in like a warm day with a beautiful summer dress and i felt like a boss i felt like a complete boss woman you guys super sexy beautiful projects it's my absolute favorite so unique i've actually come to like the bottle as well i told you guys in the past that i didn't like the bottle i actually um i actually love the bottle now i like holding it <laughs> I like this bottle, one of my favorites. Behind that one, we have Love by Killian. This is a really delicious gourmand fragrance. This has notes of caramel, sugar, orange blossom, vanilla. Um, it's absolutely decadent and absolutely delicious. And um, it was worth every single penny. 
I'm gonna have to take the lid off that one and smell that one as well. Super heavy duty um, cap again, really good quality, love the bottle. It's so sweet and very, very sexy. This is the one that everybody said um, Rihanna was wearing and she smelled like the best smelling person at the Grammys or whatever event it was that she was at. So beside that one, we have black opium and neon in this to die for glisteny pink bottle. This is a really beautiful take on the original black opium. I actually like this one better because this one to me is a little bit more interesting. It has a lot of fruity notes in the opening. I can't remember the name. It's got kind of a really, I think it might be dragon fruit perhaps, um, but it's got a really interesting fruity opening and um, it's just very sweet, sexy, um, a little bit basic, a little bit generic smelling. I feel like that's because everybody has black opium. So I feel like you've smelt it before on a lot of other people, but yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just good. Um, yeah, it's an easy go-to. This is quite a large bottle, which I'm happy about because um, I wanna be able to spray a lot of this because I feel like I need to overspray with black opium for some reason. Comment down below and tell me if you feel the same way. Do you feel the need to overspray black opium? Because I feel like it doesn't have the best performance, which is really too bad because it would be an incredible fragrance if it did have really good performance. Um, beside that we have Van Cleef and Arpels. Orchidea Vani, absolutely gorgeous. What I like most about this bottle is the bottle. <laughs> I like um, I like the little dangly silver thing. I like the label. Um, I like the color of the juice. Everything about this is perfect. This is such a lovely fall fragrance. This is a bit of an orangey, kind of a chocolatey vanilla scent. Um, and when I first got it, I actually didn't love it because I felt that that orange was too much. And I'm not a big fan of of orange and chocolate together. I really don't like orange and chocolate combination. The way they have done this one, it's blended so nicely and the vanilla in here is just super cozy. It's just, it's a very warm, cozy, comforting kind of a vanilla. And you guys, the performance on this thing is amazing. It projects really well and it lasts really well and I absolutely love it. So yeah, Orchid Avenue has become one of my favorites. I haven't been wearing it as much um, the last couple of weeks because I have been wearing the Tender Romance almost every day, but yes, quite liking the Orchid Avenue. Behind that one, we have another Killian fragrance, and this one is new to my collection. This is Rolling in Love by Killian. This one is a very powdery, um, semi-gourmand, sort of a lipsticky type of a scent. It's kind of has an addictive quality to it. Like, I will be honest with you guys, this is not my favorite perfume. I much prefer Love by Killian, and I actually think I prefer Princess by Killian as well, which is unfortunate because this one uh, was quite expensive. Um, the bottle is beautiful though, and actually the scent itself is really, really beautiful. I'm not disappointed at all in this. This was not a blind buy. Um, but I definitely prefer a little bit more of like the sweet marshmallow sugary kind of scents. Um, but this one does have, like I say, a bit of a addictive quality to it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> mm, it's actually really nice. Yeah. I really, really like this one. This one to me just smells like lipstick and intimacy. If I have to describe it in two words, it is lipstick and intimacy in a bottle. This, um, there's only one place for this and I will leave it up to your imagination what that is. Love it, need to wear it a little bit more often. I have worn it once, um, but I didn't spray enough of it and I wasn't really doing anything special. I need to, I need to wear it a little bit more and kind of experiment with it a little bit more. Beside that one, we have a favorite which doesn't make its way into many of my videos because I haven't had the opportunity to wear it yet and that is Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I love everything about this shot right now. <laughs> I love the colors of the bottle. I love how it looks sitting on my counter. I love the shape of the bottle. I love the juice color. I love the label. This is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance inside and out. If you guys have the original Coco Mademoiselle or you've smelt it, this is pretty much like um, Coco Mademoiselle on steroids. Very heavy on the tonka bean, heavy patchouli. This one is strong with a capital S. It is super, super good performing. Um, I absolutely love it. I think this one might actually be my scent of the day tomorrow. Yeah, I will let you guys know. I will take a photo and I will share my scent of the day tomorrow. 
which by the way will be Sunday, today, Saturday. But yeah, this is just um, a really beautiful fragrance. I can't get away with this one in the summertime. It's simply too strong, it's too sweet, it's too patchouli. Uh, yeah, this one is really good for the fall and the winter. And I'm really excited to, whoops, that was noisy. I'm really excited to wear that one. Beside that one, we have Juicy Couture, Gold Couture. And you guys know the story with this one, one of my favorite fragrances. It's also one of my boyfriend's favorite fragrances on me. I wear this one all the time, actually. This one pretty much stays on my tray. It never leaves my tray. This one is always, always out. I think it's appropriate for year round. Definitely more in the evening. But yeah, this is a really easy go-to for me if I don't know what to wear in the evening time for more of those like close encounter type of situations. I would never wear this out. I don't take this one very seriously. I would never wear this out to like a nice dinner, out on a date, anything like that. I think it is a little bit too young. I think if you're like early 20s, go ahead, throw this on for a date. But for myself, um, I am in my early 30s and it's a little bit too juvenile, young. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I absolutely love this fragrance, but um, it definitely has a time and a place. But I absolutely love it. So that is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. Um, my favorite from the Viva La Juicy line for sure. And last but not least, we have a new one to my collection, which is Delina Exclusive. Such a gorgeous fragrance. I did have a decant of Delina Exclusive, and from the moment I smelled it, I knew that I needed this fragrance in my collection. This smells a lot like the original Delina, which is like an incense woody rose, a very um, tart, rhubarb -y kind of a rose. But this one doesn't have rhubarb. This one has a little bit more of a deep vanilla, amber, woody kind of a vibe and that's totally my thing. I prefer gourmands, I prefer orientals, I prefer things that are a little bit more deep and sultry. This is what the bottle looks like without the cap on, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> you guys. This is such a unique, creamy, gorgeous rose scent. One of my favorites for life, for sure. Um, yeah, I just, oh, I, I can't say enough good things about it, and the performance is amazing. I just love it. It's super unique. It's super pretty. I think this one you could also wear year round. I know a lot of people say that they don't think it's appropriate for summer because it is a little bit heavier than the original Delina. Um, I don't know. Myself, I feel like I could get away with it during the summertime because of the rose and to me it's like a beautiful um, bridal scent. Also really good for the fall, like this time of year when it's still 25 degrees during the day and then it gets really, really cool at night. It's perfect. And you guys, the performance on this thing is unbeatable. Unbeatable. It's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just obsessed with it. So that is the last one on my tray. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed seeing which fragrances are currently on my tray. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot of really fun videos coming up, including a couple of really fun tag ideas, as well as a haul video, and a lot of fragrances that people have been requesting me to review, and I have not smelled them yet. So I'm very, very excited to get them. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Head on over and follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.